<laughs> so everybody's heard rumors that the boondocks is coming back. Yes. <laughs> yes. We've all heard those rumors. And I swear every day, I can't tell you in a given week how many times I think, I think to myself, Damn, this would be a perfect boat out there right now. Girl. Ooh. Y'all got lots of material. That's for sure. Lots, lots. Lots of material. So what can you tell us about whether or not that comeback is real or is it our imagination? Um, no, it is not your imagination. It is something that is definitely beyond just the conversation right now. Um, I have not started recording anything yet. Um, I, 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 my understanding is that scripts are still being written. Um, I just really, you know, just like Watchmen, Boondocks is a, a hard thing to come back to, you know, as we all saw with the last season of Boondocks, a lot of people, you know, felt like it just wasn't quite the same, you know, and that is a result of a lot of things. So I, I hope that um, uh, in coming back, uh, Boondocks will be able to um, not necessarily just pick up where it left off, but um, still um, be a, a, a show that fit, still feels current, you know, because it's really hard to do like shows like South, like South Park. It's one of those shows that it's easier for them to do that just because of the way the animation is. You know, it's kind of like the cut and paste, the mouths talk like that. And so, so it doesn't really requ- require actual, all of the steps, the uh, animatics and all of these different things that are required when you're doing animation or anime. Um, so the, the, one of the things when you're a show like Boondocks, you problem you may run into is something that might be relevant when you're recording that show, you know, 2020. And by the time it actually comes out, 2022, it's, you know, might've lost a little bit of this theme. We, we got lucky with those seasons that those issues, those, uh, um, that social commentary still kept itself going. So um, I have a feeling that it will, it, it might be the same now as hey, y'all, social commentary. Yeah. Y'all were uh, in many ways ahead of the curve on R. Kelly. Y'all got Oh, <laughs> I know. That Martin Luther King uh, episode, it still, it still is pristine. Yeah. It, it held up quite well. Now, of course, once you do resume Boondocks, it'll be a lot different because John Witherspoon is no longer um, here. Saw a lot of fans calling for Jennifer Lewis to come in and maybe play a role. What can you tell us about what has happened um, with the role of Granddad? Or I I don't know yet. Um, you know, th- I'll be honest. That's something that I'm concerned about because there is you. John Witherspoon is irreplaceable. So, you know, what, what do you do with that? You know, um, he can't be duplicated. He can't, it's, so, so it's something that, I, that I'm just really curious to see how um, Aaron and the writers and, and producers handle that. I have no idea. I did, someone did tell me um, that about uh, Jennifer Lewis and I love Jennifer. Um, that, that's, that's just a whole different way to go. So I don't know that if if that's what they're talking about. Um, this is one of those, uh, shows where I am just an actor for hire. (laughs) So, um, yeah, I don't know. The only thing I can say is, is there is no one like spoons and there will never, ever be. Is it weird for you um, because you spent so much time um, now directing? Does it feel odd when you go back to the actor part of it where you, you have to stop yourself from wanting to get involved and what they kind of take over? <laughs> uh, actually, luckily, I don't. Um, I, the, I, the, uh, my acting experience informs my, my, me as a director. And my directing experience, I think, definitely helped me as an actor. You know, um, the first time I 
went off to direct something. When I got back to work as an actor, I was so soon as I was working with the director, I was like, okay, just tell me where you want me. You know, I, you want me over here? Oh, I, I, you got it. Because you just, once you put on that, the, the, the director hat and you realize all of the responsibility that, that lands on you, uh, when you realize just how much the director is involved with things before you hit that set or before you hit that rehearsal, um, you have a newfound respect, at least for me. It's what it was. So I really, really try hard to um, keep those hats separate. Now, I mean, I'm still the actor that I am. So I, I do have my questions, you know, sometimes a director might have a suggestion that I go, you, are you really want to do that? Okay, we'll try it. And nowadays, a lot of times we'll try it and the director will say, yeah, yeah, you were right. Let, let, let's keep it the other way. So um, <laughs> I, I do feel having become a director, I'm, I'm, I'm more clear as an actor about things that won't work. 